Okay, so we're going to talk about antisocial personality disorder. So why don't you start by giving me a brief outline of what antisocial personality disorder is? Well, antisocial personality disorder is, as the word says, a personality disorder that is a disorder that encompasses things like behaviour, emotion, thinking, social relationships, general who you are as a person. And the fact that it's a disorder suggests that it, either it impacts you badly in a way that disturbs your life or it, in, it interferes with other people's life. And in the case of antisocial personality disorder, it's antisocial. That is, it is against other people. So you're generally at war with other people uh, in the way that you approach life. And that means that the disturbance is mainly for other people. So how is antisocial personality disorder usually assessed? It's usually assessed with a structured clinical interview where you ask questions for each criterion. You ask them follow-up questions. Or you can assess uh, the degree of antisocial personality disorder with a self-report scale, some that are directly related to antisocial personality disorder and some that are related to sort of constructs that relate to antisocial personality disorder. And if different clinicians who assess these people, do they usually agree with each other if one person has antisocial personality disorder and if they're assessed by another, a different person, do they usually agree that the, this one person does have antisocial personality disorder? Actually the reliability is somewhat better than for many other personality disorders. Some are similar but most are more difficult to agree on. If you ask about whether someone is very withdrawn and shy and what we call they have a schizoid personality disorder, then two clinicians would tend to have very different opinions about the same patient. But if you ask about an antisocial personality disorder, they're much more likely to agree. So how do patients tend to react when they are diagnosed with antisocial personality disorder? Do they usually agree with the diagnosis? What we find in, in our work is that they usually do agree. Uh, our work is mainly uh, situated in substance abuse treatment settings where people are at first come to get treatment and then they have agreed to participate in assessment, sometimes uh, with the aim of eventually getting treatment for, for the personality disorder. So they will usually agree with that diagnosis. Um, of course, you have to be very careful whenever you present any kind of psychiatric diagnosis to a patient that you give the correct information and that you give it in an empathetic and thought through way. Um, but patients usually accept the diagnosis and, and see that it makes sense and that it, it matches their experience when we explain what it is. So have you ever had any negative experiences? Has anyone ever reacted really negatively? You will find people who react negatively. Uh, one example is uh, a patient might say, <clears throat> oh, I have antisocial personality disorder. That means I can't work. That means I can't help myself. Uh, so uh, if I lash out at, at, at the staff or if I steal the medications, it's, it's not my fault, it, it's my disorder. That's actually the worst kind of reaction we get. So they can use it as an excuse yes, a little bit use, to yes. get away with bad behaviour. But <clears throat> again, that's, uh, th that's something you need to face in treatment. So in your research, you predominantly look at people with drug and alcohol abuse disorders. And do you think that some of these people that you diagnosed with antisocial personality disorder, do you think it could just be the effects of the drug and alcohol abuse? I certainly don't think that alcohol and drugs help people with antisocial personality disorder behave better. There's no, no chance that they would, uh, on average. But I also know from a lot of research, including our own, that the onset, that the onset for antisocial behaviour is in early childhood, uh, when very few people have been exposed to alcohol or drugs. Um, so I don't think it's, it's meaningful or reasonable to assume that <clears throat> the alcohol and drugs is the root cause of the behavioural problems. I think we need to look at the behavioural problems as something people have to learn to learn to cope with, they have to learn to see the world in a different way before they can get better with in regards to antisocial behaviour. And becoming abstinent is part of that, or reducing your drug use is part of that. It is not so that, it's not that you can remove the drugs and you are fixed as a person and you can live a healthy life with good relationships. You need to work on those things separately. And in fact, I find that just as taking drugs and doing doing drugs and dr drinking alcohol is part of antisocial behavior, 
recovering from antisocial personality disorder, you find that one of the things you need to do is you need to cut down on drinking and drugs.